Let me look at this one. Is this... No, it's not really beautiful. That's supposed to be a beautiful one. Let me find another beautiful one. Um, you see... Anyway, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I had a brilliant one. Oh, this is this one. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, yeah, this one looks interesting. Oh, shit, where's it gone? I'm sorry, if you excuse my language. Oh, no, every time I press on it, it disappears. Very odd. Anyway, let me... Um, I tried to give you a nice background, you know, but the sun comes this way, the light comes this way. So, unfortunately, I've got to give you a black, uh, sorry, a really un, un, unattractive background. Anyway, right, I had a great weekend because we went to Fontainebleau. And uh, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, which came out really late because uh, we got back late. Um, one thing I really love about France is, uh, is the fact that they say hello to everybody. Everybody says hello to everyone. There are the odd ones that don't say anything, and I think that's because they're not French. Because, <laughs> um, you know, in England, you walk wherever you walk, you don't say hello to anybody next to you. I mean, I know in London, I know in London you wouldn't do that anyway. Uh, but in the countryside, maybe you'd say hello to everybody. I think you do in villages. But in general, in France, everywhere, you say hello. And I went to work uh, in Brittany a long, long time. Was it Brittany? Yeah, it was Brittany, and it was uh, the electricity, EDF at the time. This is a long time ago. I remember they needed my... my it, was, it was actually a nuclear plant. I was teaching them um, how to use their IT help desk system there, and I was teaching in French. I had a consultant with me in case I got stuck, but I was doing it in French, and my, my, you know, translated the whole of the work manual and everything. But anyway, they, they, they took my passport and everything, and they said, right, you're going to go into the nuclear plant. So... I go into this lift. I'm not joking. It went down and down and down and down. No, no stopping. It just went down and down and down and down. I was like, oh, my God, this is so far. I couldn't believe it. I thought, where is it taking me? And then when it got to the bottom, I could hear water, like it was a spring or some kind underneath. And then when I got, to, um, when I got out, it was like a huge tunnel. And I was like, and there was just a hue of light. There were no bulbs. It was just different colours as you're walking along this this. This, co this this tunnel and at the end I couldn't believe it. it was daylight and I was like what on earth is this place and I got out the other end and I'd gone down a cliff the lift had gone into a cliff down a cliff and then and then I came out the bottom where the, the nuclear plant was was kind of by the sea really weird experience I had no idea I was by the be by the sea anyway we have got a message coming up but anyway what I found is everywhere I went, they said hello. And the other nice thing is that when you go into a shop, you say hello to everybody. You say, bonjour, monsieur, dame. Even though there might not be a man, you say, bonjour, monsieur, dame. And these days, Greg was saying to me, he's just say bonjour. But you go into a shop and you say bonjour, you know. And in England, you don't say anything to the shop queue. I do. I go in and I say hello. If it's like a small boutique and there's only one person there, I will say hello to them. But I will not ignore them. But generally, when you go into a shop in England, you don't say hello. Um, <clears throat> so it's quite weird when you're at first, when you're in France, you have to say hello to everybody. Although the English people don't know, most, um, most people I've, I've invited to France have not known you have to say that. So I tell them, you know, when you go into the shop, with, you know, we're both going to say hello. So that's really nice. I like that. But there are other aspects that aren't so nice. Like, for example, if you're at the supermarket and some people are chatting. This is mostly in the north of France, by the way. I've not really experienced this here, really. Um, but they'll chat at the counter. The, the, you know, there'll be a queue. There'll be queues and queues and queues in the supermarket. And there'll be a woman, two women at the front. You know, they're, 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 you know, the woman's paying for her stuff. She's, you know, putting it through. And they'll have a chat. And they'll have a chat for ages, knowing there's a queue behind them. They're not rushing, just having a, just having a chat. It's like, oh, my God, that drove me mad. But anyway, um, you know, you get highs and lows everywhere you go, don't you? So anyway, I'm really late because I'm doing my exercises and uh, already it's told me in 28 minutes I've got my next appointment. So I've been sent my clothes, but I have to now send another set of clothes because now um, with, with this quarantine of 14 days, I was going to come over for a weekend to get some clothes, but because um, I'm going on holiday in July. But... Um, I'm not sure I can do that now because even if I come to England and I have to be quarantined for 14 days, 
I don't know if I can get back and I need, need to be able to get back, which means I can't go back to England. So, um, you know, because it's, it's 100 kilometer, um, it's 100 kilometers now. You can go 100 kilometers no further and I'll not get any urgency. There's no, no job or something that's uh, going to take me, no professional reason for me to go back. So there's no, it's a bit difficult. But anyway, um, I think um, my friends offered to send me a whole suitcase. So I might just get to send me a whole suitcase. Might as well do that, eh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go and do my exercise before it's too late. See the make? It's actually giving me a bit of makeup. It's giving me a bit of a bit of some, you know, a bit of a nice face. Whatever this one was, I used. Didn't like the hearts really because you can't see anything. It's dark really. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to go. So I'll see you later. Let's see if I can see you. Oh, oh, some people said hello to me. Hello, Seb. Hello, Jen. I didn't realise you were there because I had this thing. I just wave at you. There we go. If you're on, if we're on, if you're, if I'm looking on YouTube, right, if this is YouTube, please subscribe, please like, and please share. Thank you. Bye.